Let's go. Hello everybody, I'm OC Disaster, and in today's video, I'm going to be discussing the load screens for Kingdom Hearts 3. For those of you that are unaware, the load screens in Kingdom Hearts 3 are Instagram looking like posts with pictures of Sora, Donald, Goofy, and other familiar Disney characters along with a, I, I do have to say, kind of cringy post and then hashtags in the shape of hearts. It's pretty cute, and the avatars for these characters are based off of the art design from the mobile game Kingdom Hearts Union Cross. This idea seemed a little bit, you know, out of the realm of what Kingdom Hearts usually is, but then when you think about it, Kingdom Hearts 2 came out in 2006. Instagram was not yet a thing, so it kind of makes sense when you think about it. We've moved on to a new era, a new age, where this is a little bit more tolerable. However, I was very disappointed with the lack of posts, meaning as you progress through the game and the story, you do get more of these Instagram-like posts on the load screen, but it's not a lot, and you usually see the repeating ones after a while, and you just kind of get bored at what you're looking at. And I think for load screens, you want to still keep the player engaged. And depending on what you're playing on, if you're playing on the Xbox or the PS4, you're going to get a long load time from time to time. And so looking at the same posts is just kind of boring. So in Kingdom Hearts 3, you get something called a gummy phone, which is used mostly to collect photos of the hidden emblems or hidden mickeys in all the worlds that you go to. But you can also take selfies and pose with your favorite Disney characters, which is amazing. And I thought that they were going to take that album that you made and put it in the load screens. Not as Instagram posts, but just like a slideshow sort of thing, which I think would have been a really nice touch. Or go even further and you can make your very own posts and they'll show up on the load screen. Now I know because it's a Disney game, they probably don't want people putting up inappropriate stuff. I get that. You can limit it to certain characters and certain things, but I just thought that they were going to be a little bit more creative with it. And then to add more salt to injury, they released in the Remind DLC the ability for photo mode, which is, at, which is absolutely amazing. If you haven't checked it out, I would highly recommend it if you're a Kingdom Hearts fan. It's very intuitive. You can do a lot of stuff with it, a lot of funny stuff. And then I was like, oh, this would be great too, where if you could connect online, you could share these pictures through the load screens of Kingdom Hearts 3 and just bring a smile to people's faces and you would always see something new if people would keep uploading. But they didn't do that. And like I said before, I understand from a content and brand perspective, they don't want anything inappropriate going up, but you can put in a system that'll make sure that that doesn't happen. And, you know, YouTube exists, so there's people going to be doing funny stuff on there anyway. And it's just kind of a missed opportunity, if you ask me. And I just wanted to, to bring that up, because I was playing Kingdom Hearts 3 for other video projects, and when I was looking at the load screens, I'm like... They really could have done a little bit more with this. Now, I know Kingdom Hearts was already delayed a lot, and we really were pressuring Square Enix to get the game out, but I just feel like if you're going to put something like this in the game, you should have a little bit more flair to it. All right, now I'm starting to fall down the Alice in Wonderland rabbit hole for a second, and just thinking about the gummy phone in general, I think it was a great idea, but just poorly executed, especially at the beginning when you only had a very limited amount of photo space on your gummy phone that you had to take up by taking pictures of the hidden mickeys but it's still limited even though they did kind of make it so you could have up to i think 100 pictures now maybe even a little bit more i haven't checked in a little bit i'm just kind of going off the top of my head right now and it's cool that you can do selfie poses with the characters and the characters will interact with the gummy phone i just think that it's kind of silly that you can't pause the combat when you're doing it I feel like that would be a really cool thing where it's kind of like in Super Smash Bros. Always have to bring it back to Super Smash. Where when you pause, you can actually move the camera around and mess around and stuff like that. That would be really cool, being able to take pictures of the combat in the story that you're going through in Kingdom Hearts. Maybe they'll improve on this in Kingdom Hearts 4, or maybe they'll take it out altogether. I really just don't know. But what do you guys think? Let me know down in the comments. And if you liked the video, go ahead and click that thumbs up. And don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. It's absolutely free. And it really helps me out. I'm OCD Disaster, and I hope you let your hearts continue to be your guiding key. See ya.